Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Jamal Charlo versus Danny Jacobs. Could that be next? Let's just break it down. Now, you have to understand that since Canelo Alvarez and Triple G are starting negotiations for a potential trilogy, who is next for Danny the Miracle Man Jacobs? It looks like here that if, you, if you're Billy Joe Saunders, you're not looking to fight Danny Jacobs because you're looking to get your belt back, uh, possibly against a Demetrius Andre. If you're Billy Joe Saunders, you're also looking to get in shape looking for tune-up fights this guy's been out of the ring for a while so i doubt he would want to fight a danny jacobs this quickly you look at a demetrius andre these guys have previously stated they're like brothers danny jacobs has also stated that that'll probably be one of the last guys he wants to fight in the division because they're so close personally so i don't see that fight being next plus they're two world champions on the zone i see that neither one of those guys want to take a risky fight and risk you know missing out on a canelo alvarez potential sweepstakes you know so who would who would be the perfect opponent for Danny Jacobs? I think Jamal Charlo would be the perfect opponent. I think Jamal Charlo is minimal risk. We know that he's not a better boxer than Danny Jacobs. We know that because of what we've seen in the ring. We've seen Danny Jacobs be able to switch styles. We've seen Danny Jacobs with power. We know that Danny Jacobs is an elite fighter, a proven fighter, a world champion. And so we also know that Jamal Charlo has never stepped up in competition and the best fighter that he's ever fought was an Austin Trout. A lot of people try to hype up Matt Korobov and say he is. No, it's Austin Trout. Let's be honest and unbiased. Matt Korobov was supposed to be a showcase fight. Matt Korobov was supposed to be easy work for Jamal Charlo, and he turned out to be probably the toughest fight of his life, and not only the toughest fight of his life, but he exposed Jamal Charlo to a certain degree that he's not ready for the elite fighters at 160 pounds, so I think that that would be the perfect fight for Danny Jacobs, and the way I see that fight going as far as the breakdown is I see Danny Jacobs thoroughly outboxing Jamal Charlo. I think that Jamal Charlo will win a couple of early rounds, but I think that Danny Jacobs would pretty much dominate the action. And so out of the first six rounds, I can see Jamal Charlo winning maybe two. And then about the eighth, ninth round, uh, mid to late fight, I think Danny Jacobs stops Jamal Charlo because Jamal Charlo is not very good defensively. He doesn't move well. So you have to look at it like that. If an older Matt Korobov, who's nowhere near the level of a Danny Jacobs, size, power, experience, and skill, talent, foot movement, uh, precision punching, if he if he's nowhere near all those things that Danny Jacobs is, I just have no other way to view the fight other than Danny Jacobs stopping a Jamal Charlo mid to late in that fight. Just believe, just because I believe that Jamal Charlo's not going to be able to stand up and take that kind of punishment round after round after round, because I believe Danny Jacobs is going to hit him flush multiple times like Matt Korobov did. There's levels to boxing, and I just don't believe that Jamal Charlo is in the same level as a Danny Jacobs, a Canelo Alvarez, a Gennady Golovkin, a Billy Joe Saunders, and not even Demetrius Andre. All of these guys are world champions or been former world champions at 160, something that Jamal Charlo has not proven he can do or accomplish at this point. He struggled mightily against Matt Korobov. In my opinion, I thought Matt Korobov bested him and won that fight. But we have to be honest and unbiased in our analysis. I believe Danny Jacobs versus Jamal Charlo is the perfect fight since Danny Jacobs is looking like that he may miss out on the Canelo Alvarez sweepstakes. Once again, it's the IBFP unbiased as always. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.